Hello guys, welcome to our e-commerce and ERP video series designed for BTEC, CSE and IT students. In this series, we will dive deep into the world of e-commerce, the first chapter, its technologies, business models and strategies. From online transaction to the supply chain management and enterprise resource planning, we will cover it all. So e-commerce has revolutionized the way the business operate, creating the immense opportunities and challenges. Understanding its foundation risk te technological advancement is crucial for any aspiring tech professional so this course with will equip you with essential knowledge about digital trade cyber security and online business strategies we will explore the real world application case studies and best practices to ensure a solid grasp of the subject so whether you are interested in entrepreneurship software development or it management this course is for you so so at first chapter one e-commerce the first part overview definitions advantages and disadvantages of the e-commerce e-commerce or electronic commerce it also refers to you can say buying or selling of goods and services over the internet we see the amazons flipkarts okay so we can learn from these portions that it includes the online retail industries electronic payments internet banking and digital marketplaces business says leverage uh, e-commerce to reach the global audiences reduce the operational cost and provide 24 hour services so it include the key advantages include the convenience scalability and access to a broader customer base however e-commerce also ha has drawbacks such as cyber security risk dependency on technology and logistic challenges some Small businesses often struggle with competition from established e-commerce giants. Customer trust issues, fraudulent activities, and return management are major concern in the industry. Despite these challenges, e-commerce is growing rapidly due to increased internet penetration and smartphone uses. Popular e-commerce models include B2B, B2C, and C2C. Companies like Amazon, Alibaba, Flipkart have transformed the global trade using e-commerce strategies. So now, threats of the e-commerce. E-commerce face several threats, primarily revol revolving around security, fraud and data privacy. Cyber criminals use hacking, phishing, malware attacks to steal the sensitive customer information. Online fraud such as identity theft and fake transactions is a significant challenge for e-commerce businesses. Unsecured payment gateway and weak encryption methods increase the risk of financial losses. Distributed denial of services attacks can disrupt the e-commerce websites causing the revenue loss and reputational damage. Customer data breaches lead to legal consequences, regulatory fines and loss of consumer trust. Return fraud, fake reviews, counterfeit products also affect the credibility of e-commerce platforms. Regulatory non-compliance such as violating GDPR or data protection law can result in legal penalties. Supply chain vulnerabilities including the delays and disruption impact the customer satisfaction. To counter these threats, businesses must implement the robust cyber security measures and comply with security standards ensuring secure transactions strong authentication mechanisms and customer awarenesses can mitigate the e-commerce risk so managerial perspective of e-commerce from a managerial perspective e-commerce involves strategic planning operations marketing and customer service businesses leader business leaders must analyze the market trend consumer behavior technological advancement to stay competitive Effective inventory management, supplier coordination, and digital marketing strategies are the key to e-commerce success. Decision makers must invest in secure payment gateways and fraud detection systems to ensure safe transactions. Customer experience play a vital role in requiring efficient logistics, personalized services, and responsive support. Data analytics and AI-driven insights help the businesses to understand the purchasing patterns and optimize the sales strategies also you can say automation in the e-commerce reduces the operational cost speeds up the order processing and enhances the efficiency 
Managers must also focus on brand reputation, handling the customer complaints and maintaining the positive online reviews. Scalability and adaptation or to emerging trends like social commerce, AI powered recommendation are crucial. Integrating e-commerce with ERP systems enhances the workflow, automation and business intelligence. A well-structured managerial approach leads to a higher profitability and customer satisfaction and long-term growth. So now rules and regulations for controlling the e-commerce. E-commerce is governed by various national and international laws to ensure the fair trade practices. Data protection laws like GDPR, IT Act 2000 regulate how companies collect, store and process the user data. Consumer protection laws prevent the misleading advertisements, fraudulent sales and unfair business practices. Intellectual property laws safeguard digital content, trademark and patent from unauthorized uses. Cyber security regulations mandate the business to implement the encryption, authentication and fraud prevention measures. Taxation laws require e-commerce businesses to comply with GST, VAT and other regional tax structures. E-commerce platforms must adhere to refund, return and dispute the resolution policies to protect the consumer rights. Cross-border e-commerce is regulated by international trade laws and customs policies. Regulatory compliance helps the businesses to avoid the legal issues, fines and reputational damage. Government agencies monitor the e-commerce activities to prevent monopolistic practices and ensure the market fairness. Also you can see the notes. Okay. So another concept cyber loss in e-commerce. So cyber loss plays a crucial role in securing the online transactions, data privacy and digital identities. The information Technology Act 2000 in India provides a legal recognition to electronic contracts and transactions. Cyber law protects the consumers from online fraud, identity thefts, and financial cyber crimes. Laws against hacking, data breaches, and unauthorized access help to prevent the cyber security threats. Digital signatures, electronic authentication ensures the legitimacy. legitimacy of online agreements. E-commerce businesses must comply with PCI DSS standards for secure payment processing. You can see in, e, in the payments apps. Okay. So these intellectual property laws under cyber regulations prevent piracy, copyright, infringement and counterfeit counterfeiting. So cybercrime investigation agencies monitor the online activities to detect the fraudulent and illegal transactions. Strict implementation of the cyber laws boost the consumer confidence in the online shopping platforms. Okay, so now we will share some important notes of this chapter. Some final parts. Okay, one is the history of the e-commerce and another is the trade cycle. These are both are very important from exam point of view. Okay, so trade cycle basically what you can say when you order something from Amazon or Flipkart like e-commerce sites. So start from the starting of your order and then the delivery boy come to your house and give the product the complete journey internal journey you can see this is the trade cycle okay this so, so the product come to your house from some retail store or the manufacturing store okay so this complete process is trade cycle you can see so let's wrap up our first chapter on e-commerce covering its definition, threats, regulations and managerial aspects. So make sure to review this concept as they form the foundation for advanced topics in the series. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our upcoming lessons. Keep learning and stay curious and let's continue to exploring the world of e-commerce together. See you in the next video.